Here's why Nick Joaquin is the GOAT of Filipino writing. Nick Joaquin started off his writing career studying under Dominican friars in Hong Kong. He did not devote his life to serving the church, however, and after his degree, he decided to become a journalist instead. It's because of this focus on journalism that Joaquin had led his art form to be a more realistic style compared to other authors of the area. The Philippine National Order of Artists regards him as the most distinguished Filipino writer in English with his excellent handling of the language, and that's why he is my GOAT. Whoa, 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 but now you're obviously neglecting the fact that his magic isn't only felt in journalistic work and novels. Nick Okin has also written plays, like a portrait of an artist as a Filipino. It's just that his most famous work, A Woman on the Two Navels, is such an interesting introspection into the aftermath of the Spanish-American War. That's why he's my GOAT. He's my GOAT because he looks deeper than just the events that led us to today. Huh? No, but the reason that he's the GOAT is because of his mastery over the English language. He's wowed critics with his ability to describe situations and settings with such colorful and distinctly Filipino characteristics. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Uh, you two are both wrong. Actually, he's the GOAT because of how he makes his characters. In The Woman Who Had Two Navels, the focus that Connie has on her supposed two navels is a use of symbolism to depict how fragmented her worldview really is. She was once trapped between the lies and deception of her mother, Concha Vidal, but she then matures enough to only find herself struggling to face the realities of the world as an adult. That kind of coming of age story is what I live for. That's why he's the GOAT. I can respect that, but clearly my reasons are better. Mine are much better than yours! So, how about this? Why don't we just agree to disagree? What, what do you, you mean? mean? Well, I mean, all of us think he's the GOAT. But, you know, just for different reasons. And, and my, my reasons, reasons are obviously, obviously better. better. Okay, listen, but what happens if we just compile all of our answers together? He's still the GOAT. Now there's just more evidence, which is pretty good for us. Oh, so he's the GOAT because of how true to his life his settings and his characters are. And because he tackles writing with such realism and amazing skill. And, and that's, that's why, why Nicole is the greatest of all time. Of all time.